Greetings from India Business Insights. We have earlier seen how ITC became a multi-business and multi-product company from being a cigarette giant. One of the first big diversification for ITC was in the hotel industry. ITC was founded on August 24, 1910 as the Imperial Tobacco Company of India Limited. As the company's ownership became more Indianized, the name was changed from Imperial Tobacco Company of India Limited to India Tobacco Company Limited in 1970 and then to ITC Limited in 1974. As a major producer of cigarettes in India, ITC was hugely profitable and was sitting on large amounts of cash. Further, tobacco volume growth had slowed down all over the world. The Indian government also started levying larger and larger taxes on cigarettes and tobacco. Globally, cigarettes were considered the biggest sin industry. So, there were increasing impediments to growth from denial of permission for new plants to restrictions and an eventual ban on advertising a few years later. It is also said that professional managers in India had ambitions of growth in India, hence the profits were not distributed as dividends, but were largely ploughed back into growth. The two first big diversifications for ITC were a paper mill in Bandrachalam and the purchase of a hotel in Chennai, which was later renamed as ITC Welcome Group Chola. The hotel industry was considered an idea diversification for this cash-rich group. Hotels require very large investments up front. Hence, in a capital-staffed country, there was a huge shortage of high-quality hotels in 70s and 80s. Today, we are going to look at how ITC has built one of the largest chains of hotels in the country. To know more about this story and many other fascinating business stories and analysis, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Hotels provided steady returns on these large investments and also was expected to provide long-term capital appreciation. Further, it helped change the perception of the company from a sinful business to a classy image. Another plus point was that in the era of license Raj, getting permission for a business that promoted international tourism and foreign exchange was easier. ITC Hotels was founded in 1972 as Rama Hotels Private Limited. The Karnataka government granted the company a four-acre block of land in 1974. In 1973, the company name was changed to Vishwarama Hotels. In 1980-81, the Wazir Sultan Tobacco Coal Limited purchased this enterprise. In 1982, a premium hotel opened in Bangalore. It is today known as the Windsor Manor and is still considered as one of the top hotels in Bangalore. In 1978, Sea Rock was opened in Mumbai in collaboration with the Welcome Group of the ITC chain. Later in 1980, when ITC tied up with Sheraton, it is known as the Welcome Group Sea Rock Sheraton. The hotel was built by a private developer and was managed by ITC. During this period, ITC built what is still considered the flagship property of the chain, the Welcome Group Moria in 1977. It has been expanded and refurnished several times since then. The tower block was opened around the late 80s and early 90s. During this period, ITC also entered into management contracts for hotels in Aurangabad, Hyderabad and Jaipur. In 1980, ITC opened its first five-star hotel in Hyderabad, called Hotel Banjara Limited, under Welcome Hotel Group. The hotel in Hyderabad was owned by Sham Sundar Agarwal and the hotels in Aurangabad by one of Mr. Agarwal's nephews. In 1986, starting with Banjara in Hyderabad, Aurangabad and Jaipur broke out the ITC fold. At that time, it was also speculated that Sea Rock would also break out of the fold of ITC. While ITC continued to scout for new properties and grow some of its hotels, it suffered a huge setback in the early 90s. In 1993, the Sea Rock Hotel in Mumbai experienced a bomb blast in terror attacks in many parts of Mumbai. There was a massive bomb blast that damaged the building, its lifts, etc. extensively. The shock plus the dispute between the Lutria brothers, who owned the hotel, ensured the hotel was never revealed. In the later years, attempts were made to bring in the India Hotels Group by one group of owners, while another group of owners made a stake sale to another of the Lutria brothers. ITC was also continuously looking for properties in Kolkata and a proper business hotel in Mumbai. 
ITC built new hotels in Kolkata and Mumbai and added multiple properties all over the country in quick succession. Somewhere in the 1990s, ITC also started creating multiple brands suitable to each market and reflect the positioning of the hotel. Its bigger brands include ITC Hotels, which are the flagship brands and welcome group brands. In 1995, Fortune Park Hotels Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of ITC Limited, catered to the mid-market to upscale market segment in business and leisure destinations. The other brands are Welcome Group Heritage Hotels, Mementos and Story. ITC Hotels with Namaste as the enduring symbol of its brand experience and responsible luxury as the guiding premise. These are the luxury hotels of ITC. These are often located at city centers of important business destinations and occasionally at important tourist destinations. All these hotels are LEED Platinum certified. Welcome Hotel is a collection of premium hotels. These are often located in second-tier cities to leisure destinations. They are also the second or third hotels in larger cities. Story is a collection of hand-picked boutique properties designed to satiate the ever-evolving needs of the global traveler. Consisting of intimate-sized properties in the premium segment, you will find Story at both expected and unexpected destinations. Story hotels are currently operational in Dharamshala and Goa. Fortune Hotels are the full-service proficient business hotels. Business travelers will find comfortable accommodation, facilities for meetings and conferences, the full complement of technical and secretarial support. These are mid-range to premium hotels. This has also been a big engine of growth and geographical expansion for ITC hotels. Welcome Heritage, a joint venture between the ITC Limited and Jodhana Heritage established in the year 1997. Welcome Heritage presents the finest traditions of heritage hospitality and tourism in India with a unique portfolio of palaces, forts, havelis and resorts spread across 37 scenic and tranquil destinations. Mementos by ITC Hotels is the latest luxury brand by ITC Hotel Group, which brings together a collection of unique hotels across varied destinations ranging from modern marvels, hidden retreats to historic treasures. The first property with this brand is coming up in Udaipur. Not only hotels, ITC is known for its culinary brands and gourmet restaurants such as Bukhara in ITC Moria Sheraton, Bukhara serves cuisine in a clay tandoor and is known for kebabs, sikandari ran and dal bukhara and the menu has been maintained for 30 years. Dumfuk in ITC Moria Sheraton Delhi and Dumfuk Begum's ITC Kohinoor Hyderabad is another very popular culinary brand of ITC. It presents the old cooking recipes and authentic flavors from the kitchen of the royal families. While the ITC Hotels division experienced a short decline in revenues and suffered losses during the COVID period, particularly 2020 to 21, it made a recovery in 2021 to 22. The results of quarter one financial year 23 are very strong. While the turnover has gone up by 41.4% over quarter one of financial year 20, that is during the pre-COVID period, EBITDA margins to 32.5% versus 17.5% in quarter 1 of financial year 20. Segment EBITDA at 180 crore, which is a positive swing of 268 crore year-on-year -year growth, which is 111 crore above quarter 1 of financial year 20. Notwithstanding the sharp improvements in profitability, ITC has an extremely low return on assets. Its profits before tax have been around 2.5% of hotels division's assets. Even though ITC has built multiple brands and infrastructure, its turnover from owned hotels is still around 60%. Its percentage of revenue from managed properties is still quite low. ITC has been considering multiple options to improve the profitability of the hotel group. It has also been contemplating a demerger of the hotels division. While it has been growing rapidly in India, it has a hotel coming up in Sri Lanka and has been contemplating expansion in the international market. Going forward, perhaps a demerger into an independent company will bring a greater focus which will allow the company to grow profitably in the future.